Hello YouTube, today we're going to be doing a video on material science and properties. Uh, specifically, we're going to be going over more Miller indice problems, as well as counting how many atoms are in a unit cell and how to appropriately account them. Uh, count them. Um, so that'll be a cool thing we'll look at at the end, so let's get right to it. So here, uh, we got six problems um, involving Miller indices, and we're asked to sketch the correct planes or directions uh, for the coordinates given below for part A. So in parentheses, remember parentheses denote planes and bracket notation denotes uh, direction. So for the technique in solving or finding out what the plane looks like for pla uh, for drawing planes, all you do is take the reciprocal of each of the coordinates. Since um, when you draw a plane, they have to be an in integer notation, uh, so you usually have a fraction when drawing it in a unit cell. So that's why we take the reciprocal. So the reciprocal for one two four uh, would be one one-half, one-fourth. And then all you do is um, make sure you plot the uh, plane properly. So the one is in the A direction, so we go to the one. Uh, we go uh, one along A, then we go halfway along B across the unit cell, and then we go up to a quarter on C, so a fourth of the way up, which is about there. And then you connect your dots and you got your plane. So pool, cool. <laughs> looked like a pool, I guess, like, good job, anyway. Uh, so, next we have, um, for part two, we have brackets, so that indicates direction. Notice that one bar atop on that second coordinate, that simply means that it's a negative one. It's just an another way of writing that. So, how I like to look at this problem is that a unit cell, obviously, um, is, make is a section in a lattice, right? A lattice is a bunch of unit cells arranged together. So, you could reflect, oh, I forgot to add these, so if you just want to put the uh, intercepts there, 1 half, b over 2, or c over 4, simply just showing which point, point it is. Anyway, as I was saying, if you're going back to here, the unit cell has a ton of different local coordinate systems, you could say, for each unit cell. So if we extend this um, coordinate system here, we can draw our uh, direction going into that um, coordinate system to the left there. So we go one along A, but look, now we got negative in the B, so we have to go back um, in the negative direction of the B axis, and then we don't move anywhere in C, so it's just like we move down in that direction. But how do we transfer that information into the unit cell? Well, it's simply a, tr um, you simply shift it into your current coordinate system, so it would look something like that. So that's one uh, way to look at these Miller indices, is to expand your coordinate system and look at, instead of just the small one local coordinate system, look at local coordinate systems adjacent to your unit cell. Cool. So now we got another plane problem, so simply take the reciprocal. The reciprocal of zero mathematically is technically infinity, and we'll talk about what that means in a minute. The reciprocal of one is one, the reciprocal of two is one half. So the um, one there, I should, uh, I should explain what the infinity is. I wrote it somewhere, but it's not popping up. Uh, so the infinity, infinity pretty much means parallel to whichever axis the infinity is located. So in this case, we need to be parallel to A. So we'll show you how to draw that in a minute. But notice, let's know, let's look at what we do know. Uh, so one, one along the B axis. So we hit the B axis at one and we go halfway up on C, right? but we have to be parallel to A. So in order to be parallel to A, we have to draw our plane as such, and that's why the infinity means parallel to the whichever axis. Cool. So notice how that part of the plane is always parallel to the A axis, and it will never intersect it. Cool. All right, now let's look at part B, uh, where we have to give the Miller indices from the planes or directions shown. So let's look at the plane over here. Um, let's look at the intercepts there, so that looks like to be halfway along B and halfway up C and halfway at A. If you just look at the unit cell, it looks like halfway in every direction on each axis. So we got A over 2 here, we got B over 2 there, and C over 2, halfway along up each axis. So simply the um, how we would start off um, our Miller indice for indicating the plane is, well, 1 half, 1 half, 1 half, right? Went halfway in each direction. But we know that planes... Um, for Miller indices cannot be, or must be, in integer notation. So simply what we do is we multiply, or excuse me, we take the reciprocal, um, and doing that will give 2, 2, 2. Awesome. Um, how do we 
Yeah, I won't go. That's a wrong mistake. So I won't go there. Okay, now let's check out this plane here. So how do we handle this one? Well, it hits the A axis, right? Exactly. And then it goes... It's always parallel to B because it never intersects it. And it hits the C axis. So how do we write that? Well, you'd have to take the reciprocal of that. So the reciprocal of 1 is just 1. The reciprocal of technically of infinity is... 0, and then we have reciprocal of 1 is 1. And the reason I knew you knew to put infinity for the second coordinate is because it's not touching the B axis at all. It's always parallel, we'll never intersect it. Cool. Next direction. Um, so simply, you know, see how far you go. So how far do we go for pointing this direction here? Well, we go 1 along A since we're on the upper, or since we're on the upper left corner. So we're at the corner on the A axis, and then we go one half in the negative b direction because notice how it's coming out. It's similar to the second problem in part a where you have to draw that um, adjacent unit cell, uh, but I forgot to draw that for you all. Um, and then you're going to go up in c. So had the one half not have been negative, it would have been pointing in another uh, direction. So this is just indicates exactly um, which part you're talking about here. Simply take the reciprocal. Um, Excuse me. Uh, for directions, you have to multiply um, by. You have to pretty much get rid of the fractions. So you multiply by two to get rid of the fractions, and then so you get two, one bar, two. Awesome. Okay, I'd suggest doing more problems like that if you can. Great. Well, I mentioned that we were going to go over how to count atoms in a video, but uh, this took longer than I thought, so I'll cut it off here and then I'll resume it in the next video. All right. Good luck and happy studying.